So in this question, uh, it says that the rectangular gate CD, as shown in this figure 2 here, is 1.6 meter width. So 1.6 meter width and 2 meter long. Neglecting the frictions at the hinge C, so each hinge at C, determine the weight of the gate necessary to keep it sharp until the water level rises to 2.2 meter above the hinge. So the height here is 2.2 meter. So you ask to draw the free body diagram to show the direction and locations of the forces. So we need to determine the, the weight which will be acting at the center of gravity here, directly downward. So we need to determine the hydrostatic force because there will be hydrostatic force acting this way. So in order to do that, if you view the gate from here, what we'll see is this. This is the shapes of the gate. So first of all, we need to find the center of gravity, the COG, which is the origin. So it will be in the middle, so this will be the COG. And having known that, so this will be our H bar. Okay. And then the hydrostatic force will be acting through here, that directions, through the COP, and this distance here will be our what we call our y so this is the hydrostatic force like call that f -ish. and the weight will actually be acting directly downward here let's call that w and then let's just call this angle theta and also given that this angle is such that this is 3 and 4 so that means that um, This is the angle theta. So if this is 3, this is 4. So this must be 5. So we can actually calculate sine theta will be equal to 4 over 5. Or cos theta is actually equal to 3 over 5. So in order to calculate the hydrostatic force. So FH, the formula is rho T H bar A. And we know that H bar will be the vertical distance from the center of gravity to the water level. So, so it will be equal to 2.2, from here to here is 2.2, plus this height here. So from here to here is 2, so this must be 1, and this must be equal to 1 multiplied by, since this is theta, sine theta. So it's equal to 2.2 plus, so sine theta is actually equal to 4 over 5. So that's 0.8, so it's going to be equal to 3.0 meter. So then the area is area of this. So the area is actually equal to, since the width is actually equal to 1.6 meter and the length here, the height is equal to 2 meter. So A is 1.6 multiplied by 2, so it's equal to 3.2 meter squared. So that will give us FH, which is just equal to rho G H bar 3 and 3.2. So that will give us 94.46. Next, we can calculate YCP. This distance here. So using the formula, YCP is IXX divided by H bar A sine theta. So IXX for a rectangle is actually BD cube over 12. So that is 1.62 cube divided by 12. So that gives us 1.067. So then we can calculate YCP directly, which is equal to IXX is 1.067, 4 over 5. And in the last part, we asked to find the weight here, 
which will just keep the gate shut. So that means that the moment has to be balanced. So the moment, the clockwise moment due to the weight and the anti-clockwise moment due to hydrostatic force must be exactly balanced. So what we do, we just balancing the moment. About C. So moment due to the hydrostatic force will be equal to FH multiplied by the arm. So from here, from there to there is 1. 1 plus YCP and this must be balanced by the moment created by the weight so weight multiplied by this distance here so basically that distance is 1 multiplied by in order to get this distance here since that's theta so that is actually cos theta so now we can get W rearranged it W is um, FH is 94.46 multiplied by 1 plus YCP is 1.089 then divided by cos theta cos theta is actually 3 over 5 and that will give W of 171.44 kilo newton in the last part, we asked to draw the free body diagram. Actually, we have already identified the two main forces here. So if I just draw it here again, of course, we have the weight acting downward. And then we have the hydrostatic force acting there. And then, of course, at the hinge, there will be reaction force. Let's call that Rx and Ry. So that will be the free body diagram.